I think the first day just coming here and seeing this facility, it's, it, was, it was fantastic. We were all so excited to see it. You can't recreate this in any way, shape, or form at a school. I'm so excited to be the first class to experience this. The teachers here are so incredibly helpful. The equipment that we have here, the beds, the Lairdol mannequin. The Lairdol is electronic, so we can diagnose the person that's going into cardiac arrest or hear heart murmurs. I'm exploring different fields such as biomedical engineering. Suturing, phlebotomy, performing venipuncture. Patient care, uh, whether that be taking vital signs, patient transfers. Medical terminology, how the healthcare system works specifically in a hospital environment. HIPAA laws, client communication education, insurance. We've learned how to make prosthetics using carbon fiber. Every student here is CPR certified. We learned about various pulmonary diseases, how to grow and sample bacteria, and scribing. And all of these things have been taught to me while I was here. Students are here about an hour and a half a day, five days a week. Uh, some of that time, depending upon the course, could be spent in clinical rotations at the Renner Road Hospital. When we go there, there are multiple departments where we get to shadow nurses and physicians like the cath lab or radiology. You suddenly find that you fall into the system and everybody's working together, so clinicals you get all sorts of knowledge such as like how the heart works or how an MRI works and it kind of provides you all sorts of a variety of information. This facility provides the perfect opportunity for our students, not only to come to one place and to merge into one program, but also to have the opportunity to learn skills like professionalism, soft skills that have to be learned for these kids to be professional. So it's sort of a match made in heaven, if you will. Being an athlete myself, wanting to go into sports therapy and sports medicine, showing me how to overcome adversity and I want to help other athletes overcome injuries because at times you can feel like you can give up and you can't give up. You have to push through and bounce back and show what you're capable of and show that you can overcome adversity. It's been two years since I'm in this health science uh, um, cluster program uh, and before that I was in France so I just moved here at the beginning of the last year. Since you know the language was kind of like a challenge at the beginning um, coming here has really helped me. I've made lots of friends and we're like four schools in RISD. Right now we're offering certification as a certified nurse aide, licensed pharmacy technician, phlebotomy, EKG, medical assistant, and patient care technician. You can be hired right out of high school at a living wage uh, with these certifications. I work at the Richardson Veterinary Clinic as a veterinary technician, and then I also work at a specialty practice, so we specialize in veterinary internal medicine and oncology. I want to be a pediatric surgeon, and for medical school, I'd like to go to UT Southwestern. I definitely want to major in biomedical engineering. It's a great field for me. I, that's probably my focus right now.